Rebecca Fath joining us now live with more on this part of the story. Rebecca. Adam, just two days ago, that's when the Rochester Police Union president says he saw that video of those officers who have now been suspended and that interaction with Daniel Prude. Here's what he had to say about it. What you saw is not complete and certainly not accurate. I didn't give it much review because I, I will not, I, I don't look at that as a fair and accurate representation of that night. In an edited video, you may hear things or you may not hear things or your what you may see the rochester police union president is reacting to this video showing his members with daniel prude in march mazio today discussed his interactions with police chief Laurent singletary about it the union first learned of the incident by the chief's office reaching out to request our members who were involved in the in the incident with mr prude to speak with investigators from the major crimes that were investigating the matter. The message that was conveyed from the chief's office at that time was that there was no concerns with the actions of our members and that they had followed correct protocols per their training. In conclusion, Mazio said there just wasn't enough communication among the union, the police department, and the city of Rochester. The union was not aware of any concerns and were not made aware of any concerns that may have been raised by the family or anyone else until being made aware only minutes before the press conference on Wednesday. Mazio today also giving his opinion on how both the mayor and police chief handled this. We'll bring that to you coming up in the next hour. And Adam, he is not holding back. For now, we are live at the Public Safety Building. Rebecca Fath, News 8.